I'm gonna be putting you guys on a one burst M16 class here at Modern Warfare 2. We're gonna be breaking down a setup in depth that can get you guys consistent one to two burst kills, and obviously, I got a nuke with it. So with that being said, the like on this video is gonna be 500 likes, and if you guys wanna stay up to date with any and all best class setups with tunes, best settings, tips and tricks, or be notified when any new updates go live here at Modern Warfare 2, feel free to subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications. If you guys are struggling with the M16, this is definitely gonna help you guys out. All right, let's go ahead and create the one burst M16 class here in Modern Warfare 2. This is gonna be perfect if you guys are trying to get this weapon gold or at least gonna get gameplay with it. So for the first attack, we're gonna rock the Saken ZX grip, allowing us to have increased recoil control. Now the problem with the M16 is it has a lot of vertical and horizontal recoil that we need to go ahead and tone down so we can be accurate at longer ranges and hit those precise burst giving us a faster time to kill now for the tune on this attachment i've maxed out the sprint to fire speed as well as the recoil steadiness i do not want to turn the m16 into a slug while going ahead and bumping up its recoil control so that's where we're going to go ahead and max out that sprint to fire speed so we can use it at closer ranges if we get into those gunfights and we can obviously go ahead and maneuver around the map a hell of a lot easier with this recoil steadiness so we can be more accurate at those medium to longer ranges now for the next attack we're going to go ahead and put on the precision stock so we can have that aiming stability as well as recoil control remember we want to go ahead and tone down as much as that vertical and horizontal recoil so we can take people out at those medium to longer ranges very easily and that's where this weapon is going to shine the tune i have in this attachment is going to be increased aim walking speed as well as aim down sight speed now we do not want to turn this weapon into a slug so we're going to go ahead and bump up its weak points when going ahead and strengthening its recoil control now for the next attachment we're going to go ahead and put on the cronin mini pro this is going to be the blue dot sight which is going to be a fantastic attachment on the m16 making it super easy to use at those medium to longer ranges giving us a cleaner optic picture now the tune i have in this attachment is i'm just going to go ahead and bump up that aim down sight speed because remember we do not want to turn this weapon into a slug so it's actually usable at any and all ranges and not just medium to longer ranges now we're going to jump all the way over to the most we're not running any of the other attachments because the barrels all reduce the range and we're not going to do that with a precision long range rifle we're gonna rock the FTAC Castle Comp. This is gonna be perfect and exactly what we need. It's gonna give us that horizontal and vertical recoil control, making sure this weapon is a laser beam and it's not gonna get uncontrollable at those medium to longer ranges. The tune I have on this attachment is gonna be maxing out that gun kick control as well as that recoil stabilization. We've already went ahead and maxed out the ADS speed on a bunch of attachments. We don't need idle stability. We need that gun kick control. So this weapon is gonna be a laser at longer ranges and obviously more stable with that recoil stabilization. And then finally, for the last attachment, we're running the demo IMP44 grip to go ahead and smooth out that recoil pattern, making this weapon super easy to use at those longer ranges and giving us more consistent one to two burst kills. But if you guys hit a headshot or just upper chest, it's gonna be a one burst. The tune I have in this attachment is gonna be maxing out that aiming idle stability as well as that recoil stabilization, making sure that we're accurate as possible at those longer ranges this is going to be the one burst m16 class you guys should definitely check out i was able to drop a v2 hold on excuse me i was able to drop a nuke with this setup and the remainder of the build is going to be the vel 46 secondary sun grenade proximity mine custom perk package as overkill scavenger resupply and quick fix and then finally i am running the field upgrade pro edition with the munition box and the dead silence so yeah uh, let's get in some new gameplay Dude, we're getting a lot of one burst kills. This actually, wait, this actually could be salvageable. Rotate over here. I don't know how he knew. Going down middle map. down over there. I'm actually gonna pop my dead silence too. Ready for 
Copy. UAV. Locating the next hard point. Ridiculous head glitch over there. Get that down over there. Dude. We're like legitimately going off right now. We go, baby. They're all underneath me. Holy shit. They're all underneath me. Holy shit. Right there. He got through the Betty. Ah! <laughs> Fuck, yo, I don't know what we. Oh my god. That was, yo, we could have got a nuke. Fuck. Alright, you guys got him. Good shit. This UAV. They got a lot of guys in the back here. Pop the dead silence. Oh my god, you know he's furious. Shit, I would be. a flank confirming next hard point stand by there's got to be a bunch of yep get a stun <gasps> and it's about to say there's no way homeboys on dead silence like they're not dead silence last stand like brother take that shit off come on now Only problem with this is like our UAV is over in the area. Oh, dude. I'm wasting so much fucking time just chasing it. Hate that shit about this, dude. Like
Keep it moving. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot coming through there. I think I actually am gonna call this VTOL jet in. Locating the next hard point. Get ready. Yeah, it's time to call this VTOL in. Yeah, as soon as that UAV went up, I knew I was fucked. Look, look at this. As, as soon as it went up, I knew I was done. My God, my screen is tearing. Yo, I've tried everything to fix this. Somebody help your boy out. I don't know what's been going on. Okay, it's fixed. Jesus Christ. I cannot afford to be screen tearing using the M16 because this is a gun that you're going to have to hit the individual shots in the burst to get those one to two burst kills consistently. Pop this UAV. Okay, they're all spawning over here, which is good. You want to stay like mid range with this gun at all times. Like that's where things are going to shine. That's where you're going to put in as much work as possible with it. I'm actually going to push up a little bit. Here we go. We got a one burst. If they're damaged, it's over. They're dying. That's the one thing about the M16. I feel like people don't really realize. It's like if they're shot, like they're dying in one burst. If you can play the map smart and kind of like shoot people from behind or trying to flank, you're going to get a lot of one burst because, I mean, people are just not going to be at full health. You get some cheesy, you know, kills that like when they're at 50% or less. Okay, that was kind of, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty sketch. There was like four people around me right there. And I feel like I was getting like the aim assist drag was taking me off the guy I was trying to kill. Alright, there's definitely a fellow over there. Alright, a teammate got a VTOL jet, that's gas. Let me get over here because I already know they're gonna push this shit. Oh yeah, let's, let's try to rotate over here. I got the MP7 if I need it too. Advanced. They're starting to back out. I don't like that. They're starting to back out. They're starting to back out. Alright, luckily we were to catch that guy. That's the thing about 6v6. Is I really, really do wish. grenades man I'm about to use the mp7 right now these decoy grenades are so annoying Throwing a stun 
I wonder where the fuck these guys are gonna come from because we're wiping them out completely. We need to get a UAV like right now. Nice teammate. Just come through middle, please. Please. Confirming next target. Oh. Stand by. Enemy in the air. Changing max. Enemy UAV Ah, we got it. a slow paced nuke but I mean shit look at this oh, god <laughs> no wonder this shit slow paced what the fuck was he doing like a man's patrolling a damn recon drone bro like what why are you patrolling a recon drone what's your buck We go. There's a reason why I like to always have a secondary, an actual weapon as my secondary. Got my daddy. Caught him off spawn. Oh, my screen starting to tear again. All right, well, I think it's time to go ahead and call the MGB in. Might as well. Copy. Oh, baby, their whole team backed out anyway. Let's get it. Yep, nope, they're not playing anymore. They quit. It's not possible. All hunters.